today's video is a how to get these 70s style. This is a little bit late. I actually did film this before, but I missed a massive chunk of what I wanted to say out. So it's taken me a while to refilm it. But here I am, I'm here, so it's all good. So let's just go straight into it. So the 70s style reminds me of you know, people like Jean Shrimpton, Twiggy, Jane Birkin. I'm on about 70s Twiggy, by the way. And people like Farrell Fawcett. When I think of 70s, that's just what springs to mind straight away. So if you ever wanna Google those people for inspiration, go ahead and do it because they are just really, really good prime examples of a classic 70s girl. Throughout the 70s, I feel like there's a theme of like freedom and there's a lot of um, orange tones, there's reds, there's yellows. And you know, a lot of the time when you do watch movies in the 70s, it's a lot of drugs. There's like people taking acid, there was a lot of cocaine parties. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of movies always incorporate that because I always feel like, especially with the whole hippie freedom move it, movement, there was a lot of, you know, narcotics on what, I don't even know why I'm saying it like that. Not saying you should do it, not so, you know, I'm not condoning it, but that is like a common theme throughout the 70s because it was all like peace and love and just finding freedom and basically doing what the fuck you want. There was a lot of no bras, there was a lot of denim, there was a lot of flares, there was a lot of big hair. You know, when I think of the 70s, these are really like big things that pop up for me, just the classic kind of like stereotypical things. For literally, for a off the bat, quick go-to 70s look, quite a classic, kind of, again, a bit stereotypical look. Just go for a ringer t-shirt. You can easily buy these from Urban Outfitters, H&M, Topshop. You can find some really, really nice ones for a cheap price as well. Probably go on ASOS as well. But you can easily get on a ringer t-shirt and then wear a high-waisted pair of fitted denim flares. So they're nice and um, skinny and then only slightly go out, you know. So it doesn't look like you're wearing your dad's bootcut trousers or something like that. You know, just go for a really feminine fit but a slight flare. And then pair it with a really cool pair of Converse or a really nice pair of platforms. So you can dress it down, you can dress it up. But I always think that is a safe go-to 70s look. Collars were quite the thing in the 70s as well. And nothing screams 60s like a big dagger collar and like a massive floral pattern on the shirt. That is really, really cool. And then you can either, you know, even if it is a floral shirt or if it's a plain shirt with a big collar, undo a few buttons, wear a fashion scarf, either if it's long, short, just do that. And I always think that is a really, really cool look. You can either wear that with denim shorts, um, denim shorts, to be fair, you could wear that denim shorts at a festival, or you could wear your denim flares, or you could wear, you know, the stretchy flares that people buy, you can buy them in black and things like that. Or you can just wear that with skinny jeans or you could try and wear it with a skirt. You know, it's just incorporating si um, 60s, incorporating 70s wherever you can. I just mentioned it before, but a really cool way to add 70s shoe-wise is wearing a pair of platforms, even if it is boots um, or if it's an open toe pair of platforms. All Achille did the most amazing pair of platforms and it they literally I look at them and I just think 70s they are so fucking cool but they are like a really nice example of dressing it up but then you could go for the classic converse but I've seen in quite a few movies involving the 70s they've they wear like orange pairs of converse which I think is mad and like ridiculously cool you know just wear like a kind of like out there color you don't have to you can go for the classic black you can go for white whatever suits your style but you know it's just ways to dress it up dress it down big sunglasses and flower crowns are the ultimate again stereotypical version of the 70s but it's perfect for festivals especially but if you are the kind of person that just wants to wear a flower crown you go ahead and do it i've seen quite a few nice hairstyles where they you know you put flowers in your hair just go for that whole boho freedom feel love it. I feel like leather jackets are definitely a must. You can play it down with just a normal leather jacket, wear it with your flares, or you can play it up and get a leather jacket with some tassels, just to add a little bit of pizzazz and a real 70s feel. If you're finding yourself in winter and you want a 70s style, um, definitely remember that sheepskin coats are a definite must. Pair it with some denim flares, like the really, you know, feminine fit 
and then some like nice brown boots or even some platforms and like a turtleneck oh my god that is just even now I'd, like I, if I saw the outfit and it was matched properly the colours all went together that would look banging like really good <laughs> Going into the boho side of the 70s, so this is really great for festivals or you can incorporate in the everyday life if that's the style that you want to go for, which is completely fine. Um, definitely think of maxi dresses with like a kind of V shape in the neckline, just not too provocative but just quite so it looks quite freeing you can either go with white or cream which is personally my fave or go for a really like bright psychedelic pattern and then you've got to remember crochet and uh brown um suede is always a big thing in the 70s well was a big thing in the 70s crochet dresses which are, are to die for but i'm not talking the tacky kind of crochet dresses when they're all like different colors no offence if you've got one. I'm talking really dainty white crochet dresses, white crochet bralettes. You can go for colour, but I just think for me, like, that is, I just think of that and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Um, you know, crochet is just, it can be a little bit expensive, but it really, really does stand out from the crowd, especially. But then, like I said, wear a brown uh, suede leather jacket with it. It doesn't have to be leather if you're vegan. Um... But, you know, wearing that with white crochet or just wearing um, brown suede with anything sort of like cream white always looks so flawless and dainty. And that's me. That's I'm just putting my style into this now. But um, you can go for like coloured crochet, go for it, be wacky out there live your best life do what you need to do and then you can either like pair it with chunky jewelry you can just go completely no jewelry it's completely up to you i feel like i've covered quite a good basis here um if you really want to <laughs> be 70s you need to go to one of those roller skating rinks where they have the uh, roller skates with the four wheels on don't know what they're called you can comment down below if you do um but yeah, it just gives you a, like a little bit of an insight of things that you can go for. I mean, I could have missed stuff. If I have, comment down below. But um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and I did miss my favourites. Sorry, there's been a lot going on and I'm going to talk about it in my favourites. So I'm going to do February and March together. I'll see you in that video because that should be my next one. Please comment down below if there is any videos that you want me to do. I did my hair tutorial I am going to soon do a video about where to go in Birmingham because someone's asked me to do that and I really want to do it I just need to find the time to do it anyway gonna go bye <laughs>